What I want to talk about now is ordered lists and unordered lists. And what I want to go over is how we do, well, first the syntax of them in HTML. So I want to do an example of each manually. And then I also want to show you guys how to do it with Dreamweaver because that's, you know, make it nice and easy. Uh, of course, when you do it with the buttons in Dreamweaver, you always keep your eye out on the code as well to make sure it's the way it should be. So let's look at what I have here. As far as education goes, I'm going to make this an unordered list because there's, there's two items here and for no better reason I think it's appropriate. But when I look at an employment, since I've listed employment in a chronological way, I think that should be an ordered list in case um, I miss some employment, I want to wedge it in there. Uh, so I'll use education and employment as two ways to do them manually. Then we'll do the honors and publications um, through Dreamweaver. So let's go, let's go fully into code view. And we'll work, where are we? Uh, right here under education. Let me add some spacing so it's not so difficult for you guys to see. And here we are. We'll work on this section. Now we see that this is all formatted as paragraph tags and I do believe um, that we could format this as none and um, and get rid of it all. Okay, I don't want to do that. Never mind, because then that makes it way harder to see. Um, oh, education, and we'll put this separate the two. I'm going to show you how we start unordered lists. An unordered list com consists of the tag UL to be an unordered list. Then each one of these things is going to be considered a line item. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll start with my typical uh, syntax UL and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna close it okay this is pretty standard HTML nothing new here and now I'm gonna put in a list item so L I now let me copy my text here I'm, I'm not gonna copy the paragraph text I'm just gonna take that right out and put that in the line item and then I'm gonna close it okay and the same thing I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go L I I'm going to copy this text. All right. And close it. So let me delete that. And I could, what I'm going to do too is indent it just so I kind of see the way it's nested visually. Because, you know, all this extra space we're adding in the HTML doesn't get rendered by the browser anyway. So if we go into split view, ah, so now you see what happened. It put two bullet points on there and now it's thought of as an ordered list, uh, rather an unordered list. But our employment's slightly different because our employment actually has things in, in, in a certain order. So I want to make these as an ordered list. If you know uh, how to make an unordered list, you you know how to make an ordered list because it's, the only difference is instead of using UL, you use OL. So let's start with OL for ordered list. I go down and I do forward slash and Dreamweaver's code hinting automatically closes it for me. So let's do this. Let me just kind of streamline the process over here so I don't bore you guys to death. There's that. I'm just going to, before I even bother with all of those things, I'm just going to put these plain formatted in there. Well, plain, they're not formatted at all, actually. Okay, and I'll put, it's still, it's still a list item. That's it, and I could just do it this way, because then I could quickly paste it in, and forward slash, and I'll do the same thing. I'll just paste it right in. And now let's look. So I'm about to click over here. So keep your eye on the right. Ah, and you see how all of a sudden now it um, it puts them in numbers. This is really useful because check this out. If I if I were to number these myself myself instead of using these lists, then if I wedge something in the middle over here, uh, in between the professor in the department of elect of uh, electrical engineering and vice president, I'd have to change the numbering on all of them. But I could just plop it in there, and you see how it just creates another line item right over here, and then 
you know, blah, whatever else I put in there. So that's the key difference between a, a list item and a list, rather, an unordered list and an ordered list. That's cool, but, you know, it's a lot of a lot of work we had to do just to put those in and actually because I'm a little bit anal about these things I'm going to select them all and press tab and that way we kind of have them uh, nudged over um, but now since we paid for this great software Dreamweaver we don't want to have to do all that heavy lifting we're just gonna select some text and press some buttons right and and you know we hope that it all uh, works out for us so let's go at this uh, honors memberships and affiliations if I select all of this where I want it and I look at the property inspector over here you see I have this thing that looks like a bullet point thing well look at that unordered list and here I have an ordered list so let me zoom back and obviously I said I want a UL, an unordered list, so I'm going to click on it and bam. Look at that. It it already did all that stuff for me with with no problem. That was pretty slick, huh? So that just saved me a good deal of time. Otherwise I would have had to really um sit there and do a lot of coding. And obviously, and I didn't have to remove the P's like I did before. And you know, obviously, I could do the same thing with the publications. I'll just select, I'll select them all, and then I'll click the the other one that says ordered list, and bam, there we go, exactly what I want. Once I've done that, I mean, I'm happy, but I want to just you know kind of uh, look through it and make sure that there's no hidden code that it may have added. So in this situation, uh, Dreamweaver acted exactly as I wanted it to. So that's great.